online shopping. You can do it on your phone, sitting on your couch with a cup of coffee in hand. You can do it from your kitchen table, whether the brick and mortar store is open or not. I am a fan, but I got to tell you, do not miss this. The letter S. That's right. Seeing this one letter in the web address of the site that you're shopping on means literally everything. And the scammers are hoping that you forget to look. It could be enticing and some of these um, do seem legitimate, but you want to make sure that you're careful and you do your research before you um, commit to anything. Well, part of that research is taking a very close look at the shopping site address. These two look very similar, right? But the one is legit, has the secure website to put your card information info, and the other one is not. When you're in a rush, when you're on the phone, when you're tired of shopping online, you may miss that S that is right there that shows you the secure site. If there's no S, you don't want to buy from that site. Aha, there are the cha-chings. Let's talk about how you're going to pay for your online purchase. There are three main ways, credit card, debit card, cash app. The best way to pay is either with your debit or credit card because you're going to have those protections that are going to be brought back to you. Well, person-to-person -person payment apps like Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, once you hit send, the money is gone for good. So if something goes wrong with your purchase or the delivery, the app is not going to help you get your money back and neither is your bank. I got one more note on this. While your debit card is better to use than a cash app to buy something from a website, your credit card is even better. Now, why is that? Well, because your credit card is just a charge that can be easily reversed, but your debit card is linked to your bank account, and that means real money is out of your account, and a refund isn't as quick or easy as with a credit card.